Hey people, it's Misha. So surgery is over. Um, it's actually two days post-op. Today is Wednesday. Surgery was on Monday. So I'm speaking a lot better. The scar actually looks a lot better. Um, still sore, still very, very sore, but every day is getting a little better. So, the doctor said that he, um, he actually saw one of the largest glands on any of his patients that he's ever seen in his 30 years, which, uh, I don't know if I, you know, I'm, I'm just special. <laughs> um, told everybody I'm an anomaly. So, he took out the, one of my glands, he said, was the size of a plum. Um, in my neck, yeah. Uh, causing a, I could, uh, I could see, I could see why that caused a lot of pain. Um, but so he took out two of the glands. He biopsied one. Uh, make sure there was no cancer and whatnot. And, uh, then he left the other one alone. So, my parathyroid hormone level went from 1100s down to 80. That's very good. Um, they did give me one little tum for calcium um, because your parathyroid glands, they are what's responsible for producing the calcium in your body. Man, mine were hyperactive, so they're producing a lot more calcium than I needed. Um, and it was being absorbed by my veins. Um, it draws the calcium from your bones, makes them weaker. Um, and, you know, can eventually cause broken bones and all that other good stuff, which we don't want to happen. And I was taking a medication that, um, wasn't working too well for me. It wasn't bringing the level down like my nephrologist wanted or as quickly as she wanted um and for me being so young she wanted me to stay healthy and um of course nobody wants broken bones um and I figure a broken bone probably would hurt more than this I don't know I've never broken a bone before um I might have to redo this video I wanted this to be short now it's going on three minutes but love y'all.